Is that right? Ignore the toes, man. Oh, shit. I don't think that looks bad at all. All right, boys. Well, today's the day. So I'm gonna say it right here. I got I gotta take my accountability. I'm gonna try after this video to post for one week. I'm like getting these, I, my heart literally rate just in, increased saying that because I feel like now nah, I'm like really holding myself accountable right now, but it's true. I'm gonna try to post every day for a week on YouTube and see where that takes me because I'm taking accountability. We're gonna do one week of posting every day. I just wanna see if this can get me back in the habit of like picking up my camera and trying because I just feel like for so long, ever since I got out of the habit of posting, I've just been such a piece of sh you know? And I just feel like I'm almost like niche again. Like I feel like only a, like a, not a small group I'd say, but like, I feel like I'm just not, you know, like super culturally relevant right now. And that, I mean, I don't care about that, but I'm just saying, you know, it's my fault that it happened because I just, like, I haven't posted anything. And I'm not trying to post more to get more out of it. I'm just, I just want to post more because I felt such a lack of purpose for like a while now and I'm just kind of sick of it. And I know it's just because I haven't been doing my job. And I just want to, I, I, I feel like I owe you guys this man. I feel like I really do. And like, I'm just going to commit to it. I'm going to try to make the videos as good as I can. And I've been having the best workouts of my life. I feel the biggest I've ever looked. I feel the best I've ever looked. But content wise, I'm just not there. And you know, that is my job at the end of the day and not doing my job does inherently really make me feel like shit, like a, a big lack of purpose. And like, I just want to get back to helping you guys and like, you know, trying my best to be me because content for so long has been a second thought. And I rather have a few people who don't watch my videos think what they want to think of me. And I'll have the actual people who watch my videos who know me and they know me, if that makes sense. Because now I just feel like every time I pick up my camera, it's always a second guess. When back in the day when I was doing the best and like producing the most of you guys, sure the content might've been a little bit of lackluster and like it, it, it might not have been the most cinematic, amazing piece of content, but I was posting more because I just didn't care. I didn't care if the video was beautiful. I didn't care if I was annoying. I didn't care if I was loud. I didn't care about none of that shit. I was just being me and I feel like it's been so long since I could do that because everything is like a second thought now. It's almost like, you know, the self-awareness is like a f***ing curse or something where I'm like, I film a clip and I'm like, oh, like, should I put that in and like, uh, 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 like, like just, f you know, like I'm, I'm hindering myself by not being me when, you know, the people that watch me, you know me and you know, if you see a five second clip of me, that doesn't matter. That doesn't define me as a person if you actually watch my videos and those are the people that matter that actually watch me and know who I am and I gotta be done with that. I gotta be done second guessing myself. It's time to get back to it. I'm gonna try to post more everywhere, bro. And starting Monday of next week, take a rest Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I'm gonna come in and we're gonna start power building again. Cause I'm also seeing Dr. Mike tomorrow, which I'm excited about. My guy who fixed my sciatica cause I've had a few sciatic issues recently. You know, I wanna get back on my daily, you know, my vitamins, creatine, everything. And so yeah, gonna hop back on the grind of everything. I gotta get, I gotta have a plan. I gotta have a plan. I, you know, I wanna be who I was, man. And like, I wanna get back to just not giving a fuck. Like, I don't know why I give such a fuck now. Like the old Lex would be like, this new Lex is a pussy. What happened to my bro? And I'd be like, bro, my bad. And like, you know, I'm just, we're gonna be a fucking man. Cause I've been being a child. I've been being a literal infant. We're back. That's the point. I hope I wasn't out of focus the whole time I probably was. But today's chest day, my favorite day. Cause that's my worst part. Actually, it's not anymore. It's actually probably one of my really good parts of my body, but it used to be a shit part. And I feel like my inner childhood trauma from having a shitty chest is always gonna be there. So I just, I'm just gonna chest max. Can you guys please tell me in the comments, like the past few recent videos have been like raw. I mean, there's still music because the music is blaring in the gym because I, I like to work out really loud music in my gym. But would you prefer just one song over the workout and then you know up and down the volume when I'm talking or not? Or would you prefer just the raw, like whatever music is playing in the back is playing for that clip? And I'm, you're, you know, you're just gonna hear whatever I'm hearing because I don't know, because like sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Like I just want to know what you guys think of like the raw style of footage, kind of in here at least, and the non-raw style of footage. Also, guys, can you please like drop a like in the video, man. I need, I need some fucking hype, bro. I need to see if y'all like want to see me, bro. I feel like I, I feel like I feel like I'm like a shitty friend, and I'm like coming back, like, like, hey, like, you know, like you, you miss me, right? Like, you know, I'm, I'm back. Like, you know, I feel like a piece of shit. Like I've been neglecting you guys, so. 
you know, I feel bad for asking, but please drop. I'm not asking for a like on the video because of money. I don't make money off my YouTube videos. I'm just asking for a like because, bro, I'm just trying to see, like, the support, man. I want to see if y'all are fucking be still, bro. If, like, I don't fuck with you no more because I'm, I'm fucking, I don't post anything. And I'm sorry. But still, I hope it can make me, like, pretty consistent like how I used to be. And we're going back to the pop. Let's go. Like, I don't know. Let's go. All right? Hey, time to make that chest work out. Bro, I was about to get going right there in that shitty ass fit. Then Aaron comes in here and she's like, look at this new package. Bro, look at this shirt. This shit is so tough. I'll flip, I'll flip the uh, mirror around so you can read what it says. But look how insane this shirt is, bro. I'm pretty sure this is for Black Friday. I don't know, but holy fuck, bro. And these, and these joggers? Embroidered? Ah, I ignore my flat ass feet. <laughs> That shit was like kind of too light, which is weird because I'd expect to be, I'd expect to be more exhausted by now, this deep into the workout. Well, with the intensity I've done, so I don't know. That was crazy. You try to like, I fucking hate grabbing dumbbells from this pile of dumbbells, though. It's so annoying. Shut the fuck up, Lex. You being a crybaby ass bitch. Damn. Got that heavy ass dumbbell. Hundred here. Alright, let's get the dust off this shit. <sighs>
hundreds for 10? Hello? I don't even know if I've ever been that strong on incline dumbbell press in particular. I mean, I've done that, like, I think the most I ever did was like 110 for eight, but considering how deep I am into this workout with the intensity I've done, that's actually fucking insane to me, I don't know. I did not expect to get that. I think I could have done like 12, dude. Fuck. Well, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I'm actually starting the bulk. So that's why I talked about power building earlier, or power lifting, whatever, just getting strong again, is because I'm literally starting the bulk. So my goal weight is 210 pounds. I don't really care to wake up at 210. If it happens, it happens. But as long as I go to bed one night and I see 210, I don't care if it's water and glycogen, I don't give a fuck. Like I just want to see 210. And when I see 210, I'm literally gonna try to main gain 205 until like summer. Shit, I mean, maybe if I'm feeling myself, I think I look good enough at 210, which I don't know, because I feel like this is two, This is 190, that's 198 right now. So if I look still look pretty good with another 10 pounds, which I doubt that I'll think that, but if I do, then I'll try to hold on to that for as long as I can. But I really do want to get strong again, and I want to bulk up because I don't know, back when I was a teenager, I was very, I always was very like lean. Honestly, it's low key shredded, you know? And it wasn't until when I first got sciatica and then fixed it, so about about a year ago maybe, where it finally healed, I said to myself, okay, I wanna get strong now. So I, my, my heaviest I ever got to on my last bulk was 207 pounds, which was literally the day that I, I woke up at 207. It was the day I squatted 605 pounds of Larry Wheels. That video, that was the heavy, that video, like you can see my face if you actually rewatch it, how like watery and just bloated out like my whole face. I wasn't insecure about anything. I mean, we fucking squatted 600. That was the goal. I didn't care about really how I looked in, in that regard. But you know, point is though, you could actually see even in my face how heavy I was getting. And I finally snapped. I was around 188 pounds. And I felt like for so long I was at that weight. And this was before, you know, my, it was kind of in the middle of me having sciatica. And it was kind of like around when I first got my home gym and stuff. So about a year ago, or like 10 months ago, whatever. I was stuck at that weight and I had no strength. So I was pretty lean, but I was always flat and I never had any, like I, I was weak too. And I've always been strong my whole life. Like I, I literally squatted high bar ass to grass, 500 pounds and I was 17. And I, you know, like I, I so like when I get weak, it just kind of bothers me naturally. So I want to get up to 210 now, but I want to do it and I want to get stronger than I even was last bulk. But my point is though, is when I got tired of being 188 pounds, like around that weight and just being flat all the time, I felt like I was stagnant. You remember the, the video, like the bulk begins. That's where I talked about how like I'm done. I want to make progress. And I think ever since that bulk, like almost a year ago, it's like been 10 months. I truly think that I put on muscle and I look the best I've ever looked like genuinely. And I'm still relatively strong. So I'm pretty happy with that. I still have a, a good base, obviously, with strength. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And my point is, when I got up to 200 pounds the first time, for like 188, I hit 200 pounds and, you know, I got about 207. But I remember the day I hit 200 pounds and I woke up at 200 pounds, I was like, fuck, like I'm getting fat. But now I'm literally almost at the same weight. And I have woken up at about 199 pounds, 199.6, and I looked lean, like I looked good. And I, I literally like almost, I guess the way to put it is I grew into that weight. So now I'm like, honestly, like I'm averaging around 200 pounds all the time. And I look so much better than I did when I first hit it. So hopefully when I have to 205, 207, whatever, I don't look like a bloated fish this time. But yeah, I'm like really obsessed with making progress lately. It's kind of why it's hard for me to pick up the camera because I've just been having such intense, like good workouts. And I feel like my physique looks great. Like my body composition's good and my diet's all cleaned up now. And yeah, that's where we're at, and that's where we want to end this winter. I want to, I want to deadlift 700. I, I don't care if my, the, the goal is 700 deadlift. I don't care if I do anything above 600 squat. That'd be cool, I guess. And I don't care if I do anything above 400 bench, 405 bench press, because it's like you know, I feel like 600 squat and like 405 bench is just like, like you know, like what else is cooler after that? Like 455, 500, that's really out of reach. And I guess 635 squat would work, but. We'll just have to see where it goes, but I do know I want to pull 700. I don't care if I use straps. I don't care about sumo, none of that. I want to, I, I literally don't give a fuck what happens. I just want to load 700 pounds and I want to pick it up any way that I possibly can. I don't care. It's a gym PR. I'm not going for me or a me, a powerlifting meet or anything like that. I don't give a fuck. 
I just want to blow to 700 pounds and know what it feels like to have it locked out. I don't care if I'm using straps. I don't care if I'm using sumo. And another reason why people ask me why I use straps all the time for my deadlifts is because I never had an issue with, with grip. I don't know if you can tell from this far away. My thumb is huge. I have a very big thumb, so I've never really had the bar slipping. But the issue is, is literally pulling mixed grip kind of hurts my SI joint and it also made my traps uneven. So ever since I stopped, my traps have like pretty much evened out. So yeah, it's kind of why I don't pull um, mixed grip anymore. And honestly, bro, like I'm not training for a comp or anything. I don't give a fuck. It's just a gym lift and I'm going to do what I enjoy. So we're going to try to pull 700. Yeah, that, that's just basically where I'm at mentally with training. And I'm just really excited to hopefully like, you know, really get back into making content and come back strong in every single way. Because I love you guys so much, bro. And like, I, I was just thinking today, like, it's crazy that you guys, I still have such a good, solid, like, core, like, following. Like, you guys fuck with me so heavy. And it's just weird because, like, I feel like I don't deserve it in a way or something because I'm just so inconsistent. But I really want to prove that, like, you know, I'm worthy of, of what I have, I guess. And, like, I'm, I just feel like such a piece of shit lately and I'm just sick of it. Yeah, well, now I'm going to finish this workout. I'm going to hit the hundreds for uh, one more set of, like, just tell failure, whether that's 12 or not. I don't know. And then we're going to hit... Um, I hit something else. I don't know what exercise yet. Yeah.